Hey guys, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary. If you're new here, this project has been three years in the making. We moved into our house about three years ago and we have always wanted to refinish our deck. It's such a fantastic space. We absolutely adore our backyard and our views and the deck was always lacking. It was very sad and dated. It's about 25 years old, but the size is so generous. It's about 400 extra square feet that we are able to enjoy about three seasons out of the year. So I always knew that I wanted to tackle this project. It was just a matter of fitting it in with all of the other things we had going on. The very first thing we did was clear the deck of the smaller pieces of furniture and then use the leaf blower to get off that surface layer of dirt. Then I went ahead and power wash. Now I know this may not be the best idea with a wood deck and you can definitely clean with a deck brush, but after years of neglect, it just needed a really good deep clean and I was careful to use it at a moderate speed so I wouldn't splinter the wood. Now for the deck flooring, I chose to use a solid deck stain from Cabot in the color Cordovan Brown, which we actually used at our last house right before we put it on the market. And I love the color, so I was glad to be able to use it here and actually be able to enjoy it. I did roll it on at first, but it didn't do a great job of getting into the crack, so I had to go back and hand brush those areas. So I just went ahead and brushed the rest of the flooring, and even though it was really tedious, I felt like I had better control and I was able to get into all the nooks and cracks and everything that way. For the spindles, handrail, gate, and steps, I used the Deck Correct paint since those areas were still really red from the previous stain and they needed more coverage than the stain was able to give. So I first rolled the paint to cover the most surface possible and then I had to follow up with the brush and everything needed two coats. But I'm incredibly happy with the color and the coverage of both the stain and the paint. I also went ahead and removed the gate hardware. You can see here how red the previous stain was. And I gave them all a fresh coat of bronze spray paint, including the screws. It's just something I had on hand. I'm not crazy about the decorative diamond shapes that are on the gate, but they are structural to it, so we left them alone. But maybe one day we'll make a new gate that doesn't have 10,000 screws in it. Now let's head up the steps through the gate and check out the before and after. We needed to buy two gallons of stain and three gallons of paint to complete this project, which totaled under $250 and that includes brushes and rollers as well. Considering a new deck of this size would easily cost five to $10,000, I'd say this cosmetic makeover was totally worth it. It definitely was a labor of love and I spent many nap times and evenings after dinner out here listening to podcasts, just dreaming of how great it would be to sit back and enjoy. Our old umbrella was really faded and it had a few holes in it, so we grabbed this new one from Amazon and I thought the tiered scallops were so cute and it was less than a hundred bucks. The wild berries were from our yard and they make such a cute centerpiece. The other fun project that I tackled out here was to paint some cute cafe stripes on our metal awning. Before it was just a faded brown color and actually last spring I attempted to paint it tan and white and I didn't like how it was looking so now a year later I decided to do black and white and I love that it feels sort of whimsical and yet classic. I could totally see the kiddos playing ice cream parlor out here and I think that would just be so cute. Going out through the sunroom, I am just in love with this new view, this new room really, that we've already been able to enjoy with family and friends. Time will tell how this stain and paint holds up. I've never tried this before, but we've had a ton of rain the past few weeks and I'm really happy with the durability thus far and I'm just thrilled to check this project off the to-do list. 
guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed seeing this tour of our deck, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, be sure to stick around and subscribe as I share more of our home projects as we tackle them one by one. I'll be talking to you soon, guys. Take care. Bye.